intra operative posterior iol dislocation can be nightmare for cataract surgeon but retrieving dislocated iol from vitreous with second iol implanted in anterior chamber or sulcus can be challenge for vitreo retina surgeon keeping in mind minimal anti segment manipulation possible related complications and above all expectations of cataract surgeon and patient posterior dislocated iol can be removed either by anterior root sliding beneath or simultaneous removal of anterior placed iol or by posterior root through 5 to 7 mm large pars plana incision with possibility of complications such as retinal detachment and wound leak We hereby demonstrate minimal invasive approach for pars plana iol removal without the need for large sclerotomies or any manipulation of second implanted iol a 55 year old male presented with posterior dislocated single piece foldable iol following left eye phaco surgery along with stable sulcus implanted large optic diameter single piece pmma iol After securing temporal phaco wound and conjunctival peritomy in supranasal quadrant a 3 port 23 gauge pars plana vitrectomy was performed using triamcinolon stain majority vitreous was rebuilt avoiding peripheral breaks residual lens matter was removed and iol entangled in vitreous was mobilized or fluoro octane was subsequently injected to protect posterior pole and float iol above it twenty five gauge chandelier light was fixed infratemporally for bimanual surgery and supranasal port was enlarged to three millimeters using mvr blade This located IOL was lifted with serrated max grip forceps and subsequently vanas angled capsulotomy scissor was introduced supranasally to cut IOL optic intravitreally into house one can also use specially designed IOL cutters or scissors half of cut iol was removed one by one through 3 mm pars plana incision using intravitreal forceps Subsequently, supranasal incision was closed with pre-placed 70 vicaral suture. Perfluoro octane was aspirated. Prophylactic cryotherapy was applied supranasally, and all ports were secured. At one month follow-up, best corrected visual acuity was. 20 by 30 in operated eye with stable sulcus iol and attached retina